Chris's laugh, uh, it may be the single most fantastic part of life was Chris's laugh ever. He had the ultimate, ultimate seal of approval. Well, if you're making a joke or you're trying to make him laugh or something funny happens, one way to know that you've succeeded is when his head falls. He would laugh so hard that his head would sometimes fall. And then it would be funny because then he'd laugh at his own jokes and then he'd drop his head down. He did get his, himself so excited sometimes, you know, and he didn't have that much control over his head. So he would laugh and laugh and his head would be back. And his head would fall and his mouth would be open and you look at him and he's just, just laughing, just dying. He couldn't get it back up always. So you might even have to give him a little shove to get his head back up. But he was still laughing. And when the head fell, you knew you, you'd nailed the joke. And you knew it was a doubly good joke if you had gotten his head back up in order. And of course it fell back down. When you get him started, you know, you can't help but laugh. If something's not really that funny, but he starts laughing, then you start laughing, and it's just contagious. It was easy to make him laugh. I don't know what it was. He, he, uh, he knew how to tell a joke, but man, it was so easy to make that guy laugh. It was infectious just because sometimes the thing wasn't funny and he would just laugh and it's just, you know, there's always that one person you know, just when they laugh, you laugh for no reason just because it's fun seeing them laugh. And he was one of them. He'd always have like something funny to like boost anybody's day. He was like the life of the party. He found joy and happiness every day, some way or another. I don't think many people can pull that off. I met people that laughed louder and harder. I never met anybody that laughed as often. Every day was filled with laughter with Chris.